in the month of vision. And we started with an introduction, and I told you vision is in the heart. Vision is of the heart. It's not of the mind. Proverbs 23, verse 7. May the Lord give you understanding today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Keeping thy heart. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Proverbs 23, verse 7. For as a man thinketh in his heart, as a man thinketh his heart, vision is of the heart. Your mind cannot carry any vision. Your mind is too small. Tell anybody your mind is too small. And I've thought about being spiritual. It's the first way to receive vision. When you're spiritual, the first day I say when you're spiritual, you receive vision. Be spiritually minded. When God tells you there's something here, better believe it. Better believe it. And I ask you, if God tells you move five steps forward, two left, right, there'll be something there, you better move. Moses was told, move forward. And he moved forward, the Red Sea moved. Hallelujah. Be spiritual. What God tells you, you may not understand it, but you be spiritual. Hallelujah. Wow. Today I had a dream with Pastor Chris Ayakilom. He was teaching me how to do church growth. Hey, I'll be praying for that. Hi, he showed me some practical things. I was like, wow. What a good dream. Short. Hey. Tell him about what do you dream. <laughs> what do you dream? <laughs> I received someone in my dream. I said, about what do you usually dream? <laughs> oh, no, I dream in darkness. I said, what do you dream? I don't know what I dream. Be spiritual. Don't you know, be spiritual. Be spiritual. Be spiritual. Don't sleep without praying in tongues. Tell anybody don't sleep without praying in tongues. Please, I warn you. Sleep, pray, breaking in tongues. Fall asleep when you're praying in tongues. When you wake up, we'll continue with the tongues. Hey, you left it. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Vision is of the heart. You cannot receive it in your mind. I know even how he was dressed, and I know even which book. I was with him in Samburu, and he was explaining to me something about the church. And he was explaining to me about construction. And he showed something, he put something. He called for me, Maxwell. I, I said, You know Maxwell? He told me, I know Maxwell. I, he said, You know Maxwell? He. And he told me, This boy, tell him to do this. Some of the instructions I was giving them today morning was from the dream. Oh, yes. How do you receive these things? Tell him about being spiritual. <laughs> I didn't listen to his message this whole week. I have not listened to his message for a long period of time. But he was there. Vision. Is of that. When God says something, you will know. You, you need to be spiritual. God tells you, give. Give. God tells you, do this. You do. But if you don't do that, you may never cut the vision God has for you. God has many ways to make you be decorated. Number two, I said last week, guard your heart. Do what? Remember four, four verse, four verse 23? Guard your heart with all for out of it are the issues of what? If you are poor, it's your heart. Is it true? If you are rich, it's your what? What is in your heart? Guard your heart. Don't allow every junk and hurry, any every message to come to you. Don't allow. Don't allow. There are people who are like Sambalat and Tobai. Their work is to bring you down. To tell you how it is impossible to achieve something. Tell your neighbor there's nothing called impossible as much as Jesus is alive. Tell your neighbor there's nothing called impossible. The Bible says he was given a name above every, every name. On earth, heaven, and below. So it means impossible is under his name. Hallelujah. With his name, all things are possible. Today, I look at keeping your heart. I told you be spiritual. Guard your heart. Now, keep your heart. Keep your heart. The heart is the seat of faith and the realm of impossibility. What goes in your heart determines the corresponding action over the knowledge in your mind. And I told you, we produce miracles with our hearts. Is it true? Proverbs 16 verse 1. If you don't have a miracle, it's a heart's problem. It's a heart's problem. May you receive a miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs 16, verse 1. Oh, I'm telling you, songs are in my heart. The preparation of the heart in 
man. And the answer of the Lord of the tongue is from the Lord. You prepare your heart to your miracle. You prepare your heart. If you are poor, it's your heart. Most of you, your hearts have been changed by anything and everything. Proverbs 16 verse 9. Look at this. You, you, so I want you to teach you how to keep your heart. The only way you can, don't allow anything to enter. Don't allow anything to enter. You may hear the worst report possible, but don't allow. There are some reports you don't allow. No matter how bad it is, you don't allow it into your heart. A man's heart devices his way, but the Lord directs what? His steps. Your heart is the seat of miracles. You produce miracles. So if I see you're not succeeding in your life, the problem is your heart. You're doing things in your mind. You need to be spiritual for your heart to understand visions. Because I told you, visions are only inhabited in the heart. And one evidence of vision is our salvation. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. Our heart, every vision is in the heart. Salvation is of the heart. How do you know you're born again? In your heart. Don't tell me I know I'm born again. I know I'll get to heaven. It's my heart. Can make me say something like that. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy word that the Lord Jesus, I shall believe in thy that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be all. Verse 10. Amen. And it says very well, for with the heart man believes unto all. And with mouth confession is made unto all. We didn't see Jesus or believe Jesus is there. And we have experienced Jesus with our hearts. Heart. I'll be saying that, and I told you, if you don't guard your heart, poverty, riches will come out of there. Success, failure will come from there. So keeping your heart or maintaining is another thing. You only reap what you have managed to keep. Tell anybody you only reap <laughs> what you have managed what? Okay. Hallelujah. Sometimes I see there are sodas put in the house. Even yesterday I saw open my cabbage. I see some sodas I put there, some drinks. Ha! I will only reap them when they are kept. Amen. Nana may kula mandazi kutupika mfuko. You have a mandazi in your fuko and then not chew naive. It is surely sweet. Is it true? It is sweet. I'm telling you. I mean, I was eating from their pocket when they're in school. Ah, yeah. I ate. If you, if you missed it, that's your own. Ah, it was sweet. It was sweet. You, you tune and the teacher took it. Ah, you, you only reap what you have kept. You only reap what you what? what you keep in your heart determines the miracles and every other thing will come. Some of us are keeping unforgiveness. You're keeping the problem. You have kept poverty in your heart. We are always poor. Who told you you are poor? Why don't you keep prosperity in your heart? You see, why you are not, no matter how much money you get, you are not changing levels because you have kept something in your heart. That is more powerful than what you have in your pocket. You only reap what you keep. Everything will take the order of whatever you have kept. Proverbs Philippians chapter 4. Verse 6 to 9. Philippians 4, 6 to 9. You have kept sickness. I have answers. I have a problem. Who told you to use yours? You have kept it. You went to one doctor, and one doctor told you you have asthma, and you believed. From that day, you have been working with that. Who works with an inhaler? Is it asthmatic people? Yeah. Who said you are? What you keep? She can tell you, no matter what I feel, I will not take medicine. Ask her, she's here. Never. I say I'll recover. I keep on saying that. I say I'll recover. I'll be healed in Jesus' name. I don't like that. I pray. Even she's just concerned. And, and I, when I wake up in the morning, I'm recovered. I don't allow. I have grabbed to realize anything that happens around you is what you have kept in your heart. That's why I've come to realize how healings take place. Before I pray for a sick person, I must have it in my heart that person will be healed. There's no way I can pray for a sick person and I don't have transponding faith to tell the person will be healed. My faith is what you feed from, and that's how you're transformed. Then when I leave the person from the teaching of the word of faith, I tell him, maintain that word I've given you for your own healing. The day he loses that word, he goes back to his sickness. It's in my heart. What have you kept? Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. 
The Bible says what? Be careful. Ah, but in everything by what? And we let your request be known. Now, God is saying don't be careful to ask him for a jet. Ask him, but what is the highest thing you ever ask God for? Let us say that for six first of all. Ask him, what is the highest thing you ever ask God for? And you are praying for it for sincerely praying for it. Father, give me a jet. A G8 in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for my one billion dollars in jet. What is the that is being careless? Do not be careful for anything. But Moses was Lord, ten bob, only ten bob, Jesus. Jesus will not do anything there. You see what you're keeping in your hand. That's how you wonder why you get ten shillings. Everyone around me, they know I shout. I don't want coins around me. Have you heard me saying that all the time? Why I have notes? What the notes? I came to realize it's a setting. It's a setting you keep in your heart. If you keep a particular setting on your phone, the phone will behave like that. Is it true? Even if it's yours, yeah? If you put vibration, if someone calls it, it will vibrate. Will it sing? No. Your, your heart is the setting of life you have. Keep your... He said, be careful for nothing. I'm asking God for the land. I'm seeing myself building. Uh, we are building. Amen. Master, remaining there this week to build a church. Get it done. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Get it done. Who knew this year will be building? Who knew? Jesus is my savior. I shall not be moved. Jesus is my... Oi, I need to teach quite these things. I shall not be moved just like a tree planted by the waters. Oh, I shall not be moved. Hey. And he was wearing diapers that time. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, I'm telling you. I shall not be moved. There's a peace that keeps me now, if you tell me the budget is 50,000, you, you look at the money. For me, I look at the peace in my heart. Are we clear? The peace. Do I am? There's a possibility I know God can take me to. Ask your neighbor, is it possible for you to drive Alexis tomorrow? Ask your neighbor. If you see your neighbor worried, don't ask him again. Hallelujah. That is now vision. Vision is peace. I told the kids, make flowers. Even I was saying to the guy, make flowers in that place where we are taking swings for children. I want to get some men here who can choma that swing. Hallelujah. Buy metal, take it there. It shall be, uh, you will be getting to a reserve, but you see a city inside there. Hallelujah. There's nothing about this thing cannot happen. By the time we're done, I'm telling you, that's how God will build us a church here. Are we clear? They always say, if you want God to build your house, build for him his house. That's one thing I know. I will be telling her, God will build for us a house. I, that's why I'm so invested in that project. Some of us are buying ourselves clothes, buying ourselves things. You are leaving the God's work idol. You are giving God petty cash. God is wondering, why are you giving me petty cash? Because you have one project. With the day your project starts, he will give you petty cash. <laughs> yeah. There's a peace that controls me. Now look at this. This, the, what, the what precedes and this is the aspect of spirituality guarding your heart is captured in verse 6. They want to show you. And to keep that peace of God, you must desire that your heart must be kept. Now, what is this peace that keeps the heart? John chapter 14, verse 27. What is this peace that keeps the heart? I have peace. That's why even if someone is sick, like what? I tell them, wait. The Lord will heal you. You say, like, the person is dying. I say, no, no, he's not dying. The Lord will heal you. Be patient. Things will not happen like that. Don't try. That's why I don't love. I wonder why young men are always in a hurry to make money. Calm down. My friend, we have been around. <laughs> this world controls us. Are we clear? Relax. There's an appetite you should not have as a young person. You will lead, do what you call a shipwreck. You can lead your church life and live God totally. Oh, yes. George chapter 14, verse 27. What is this peace? That keeps our heart. I'm talking about peace. For you to keep your heart, you need that peace. And today I reveal to you that peace. That peace has helped me tell me, even if, even if you tell me now, Marianne, the budget for car is one million. I will not pray. They gave us budgets. We trimmed them. Did I ever call anyone? How will we achieve these budgets? No. Who saw me doing that? 
And I even I told the office, start telling me what we are done, what is spending. I never even said, oh, we need to cut. No, 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 no. There's a peace that makes me, I know my God can supply all my needs. I know that. So my vision will not be a chicken vision. It will be an ego's vision from today. Amen. Tell the neighbor, I refuse you to have chicken vision from today. Tell the neighbor. Tell the neighbor, I warn you, no more chicken vision in your life. You will have an eagle vision from today. There's a peace that you have. An eagle glides when other lands and must flap. It's called peace. When all animals are flapping, the eagle will glide with the force. And that's the peace when you get it. You will glide in vision. No, no budget will strike you and make you paralyzed. What is 1.3 million? What, what is that? Zemi has a budget. What is that? that? You see, the problem is that you have never thought about that. That's why you are disturbed. Their school fees is 20,000. Why are you worried? It means there's a level of peace you have never acquired. And peace is in levels. What will disturb you will never disturb me. What will disturb another person will never disturb you. The difference is this. is the peace they have acquired in Jesus. Jesus says here, peace, I live what? My peace. Not as the world. Give I what? Let not your heart be what? Neither let it be what? There's a peace that removes trouble in your heart. Hey, my peace. Hey, I live with you. Hey, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. <laughs> I give unto you. Hey, there's how I give it also unto you. There's a peace I have that I'm giving to you. And that peace I leave it to you. Not as the world giveth. And when you have my peace, your heart will never be troubled. Your heart will never be troubled and you will never be afraid. I've never told Dickens, oh, the budget to somebody is expensive every week. I know how much is this. But I told God, this one will not disturb me for your work. I told God in the office, I remember I sat down and said, this one will not disturb me in my heart. I will not call anyone to tell anyone. I think it's only my brother who asked me, how much do you spend to go to Samburu every week? Only my big brother who asked me. He's not a member of the church, but he cared to see the budget. I told him, I said, wow, you spend this amount of month every week? I said, yes. And he asked me, can you afford it? I said, it was already paid for. <laughs> it was already what? <laughs> you see, your language is now play. the peace you have. So I say, hey! Watch a Ikai. That is not work of God. That is God has not sent us there. God is seeing your corresponding action. That's why what will trouble you may never trouble me. But today, I will show you how to get that peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Ask a neighbor, are you gaining understanding? <laughs> Maybe I'm saying things that all of you are thinking like, hey, what are you saying? Amen. That's the difference of vision. So when you see someone building, going to the bank and asking for a loan for one billion, and you go to the bank and ask for a loan for two thousand, get the difference. Are we clear? It is the peace. It is the peace. Ask your neighbor, why have you never thought about counting one billion? See, they are quiet. Number one, what is this peace that keeps in us? Number one, it has been left with us. The peace I'm talking about, it has been left what? With us. What is this peace that keeps your heart? It has been left with us. So it is there. When you catch this peace, you'll be healed of, out of any sickness. Are we clear? When you catch this peace, you can do anything. It has been left with us. Number two, it has been given to us. Oh my God. So number one, it was left to us. Number two, it has been given to us. <laughs> wow. And number three, it is not of the world. People think if I have a good car, good house, enough money, I'll have peace. My friend, you will never have peace like that. How many people have seen rich people commit suicide? Yeah, they have all that money. Why are you telling me? There is a peace of Jesus. Number one, it has been left with us. Number two, it has been given to us. Number three, it is not of the world. This peace I'm talking about is not of the world. It's not based on materials that we see here. These things are nothing. There's a peace. That peace is what creates anything you have. Every this church will be great. I'm telling the truth. Amen. It will be so big. Mark my words. Because there's a peace I have. There's what I know. The vision was given. God raised me up people who are spirit led. I asked God how? Through spreading the light. I say, okay, sir. 
How will you spread the light? I don't want to go like others. I tell God one thing I require from you, give me wisdom. I will not step out until you give me wisdom. That revelation, spirit of revelation, was just boring. It has given me so much peace. So much peace from the word of God that there's nothing you can tell me. And I'll tell you it's impossible. Because he has given a name above every other name. When you have this peace in your heart, you will never be troubled or ever afraid. Why are you afraid about tomorrow? Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. You think he was being careless? He was telling me, have my peace, you will never worry about tomorrow. Amen. And as a result, Amen. Never worry about tomorrow. Because of this peace I'm giving to you. And as a result, you will keep your heart the seat of faith. When you have this peace, you'll keep your what? Your heart. you keep your heart, which is the seat of faith. You'll keep your heart, which is the miracle generator. You'll keep your heart, which one produces issues. When I see someone has issues, it's because they lack peace. How can someone just wake up in the morning and start putting problems? They lack peace. The heart is kept in vision by the streams of peace. Can you write that down? The heart is kept in vision by the streams of peace. The heart is kept in vision by the streams of peace. Most people have stopped pursuing vision because they don't have peace in whatever they are doing. Don't look for the peace of the world. There's also the peace of the devil. I don't want to hear it right now. All those things are there in the Bible. But also there's the peace of God. All the heart is kept in vision by the streams of peace. The vision to build your house is only kept by the streams of peace. Because it's possible to earn money and nothing to show. Did you hear what I'm saying? Because you have no peace. Everything around you is eating from you. Everything around you. Why visions have died is because of troubled hearts. Some are saying, I'm opening a business. Then tomorrow they close it. Trouble heart. <laughs> the heart is troubled. As I just said, don't let your heart be troubled. Luke chapter 1, verse 74 to 79. Are you blessed? Yes. That's why my faith is not your faith, my friend. My faith is not your faith. That's why we follow them who, who through faith and patience inherited the promises. Have you understood that scripture? What this means? You follow them through faith and patience inherited the promises before you. You must follow them. You follow a man with results to have results. Are we clear? How can someone pray for you to have money and they don't have money? You, it's not possible. How can someone make you a success and they are not successful? Through faith and patience, they follow them. Uh, let, I think we read that scripture first before we go to Luke chapter 1. Amen. Through faith and patience, they follow them. There's no way. There's no way you can tell me ah, I will be successful myself. Tell anybody you, you cannot be successful by yourself. Tell anybody you, you cannot. Mm. Most people, young men, I say, it's my life. I will do it by myself. So, Pierre, in the end, you say, my friend, not all of us are new beings like you. Are we clear? There's what controls people. There's what to do us. Controls people. There's a peace. Hmm? There's a peace. There's a peace. But the Lord help you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Amen. I'm getting the wrong version. So ask your neighbor, tell your neighbor, may peace come into your heart. Tell your neighbor, may peace come to your heart. Amen. When you have peace in your heart, you keep things. You don't destroy things. Amen. Keep your heart with peace. Keep your heart with peace. Yeah, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 was correct. I think, what version did I open? Hebrews hmm? 6 12. I see how Bishop Ojapo does this thing. There's a peace he calls, follows. There's a peace he has. Jesus woke up when the storm was raging. And the disciples said, Oh, Jesus, you don't care, we are dying. What is Jesus' reaction first? Peace. Be still. Hallelujah. It was the peace he had is what he took it to the environment of turmoil and everything come down. If you don't have this peace in your heart, you will be jumping here and here, church and church, 
pretending you are here but you are not here tell them about stop pretending you are here and you are not here yeah. you are like peace in your heart he said that he not be what so, but what for for us of what can we read together one two three go mm -hmm. in, follow them who was in there come ask me sir how did you produce that miracle there's a formula. It's not a matter of income. Are we clear? It's a matter of the peace that is operating inside you. Without peace, you can make wrong decisions. Do you know that? Without peace, you make wrong decisions. Without peace. Every time you have made a decision because you are angry, you are offended, you are in a hurry, you'll make a wrong decision. Peace. Jesus was more for a woman who had committed sin. And the first thing Jesus did was to burn down and start writing down. Peace. And he told them, any of you has never crossed the first one. All of them disappeared. It's called peace. Peace keeps vision in sight. What God has sent you to do, you will do it. You will not be distracted. Peace keeps you. Not your child coming, running. Oh, we need, there's an emergency. You remove money. No, 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 no. Peace even controls your spending. Oh, yes. Peace makes you don't take any other job. Because you lack peace. Just uh, This week, so, uh, I was just telling my wife, so I call her to give me money. I told her, no, I don't want the money. Ask her neighbor, if it were you, what will you do? And it was not 1,000 shillings. Are we clear? Ask her neighbor, if it were you, what will you do? Will you reject? Who can reject money here? Can I see your man? You see? It must have some particular love of peace. At that time, maybe you may be in need. In need. The devil can disguise you. You must have the peace of God in you. Peace of God. Peace. This peace has kept this vision alive. No one, even if people go away from church now, I will not be distracted. I know the vision and I know who God called me. No distraction. How many people have come? God. Come, God. Come, God. Well, there are those also you have come and stayed. Is it true? Yeah, they should not distract you. Luke chapter 1. You follow them. Tell them about follow someone. That's why God gives you a man of God. You can never outgrow a man of God. Tell your neighbor, you can never outgrow your, the servant of God. You can never. No matter how many scriptures you have. There is no way. Luke, I think we close from there. And says what? That he will grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without what? Continue. Verse 75. One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. verse 76 and thou shall be called the one mm -hmm. rise ways verse 77 mm -hmm. I have seen and 78 Has visited us. And verse 79, it says what? To give light to them that sit in and the shadow of to guide our feet into the way of so there's a peace that controls miracles. You can't keep your heart without peace. You don't keep your heart with money in your bank. You don't keep your heart with the house you live in. You don't keep your heart with the kind of job you have. You keep your heart, that vision God has given you by the peace working in you. That vision is kept by that peace. In the second service, we shall go and start doing deeper now. Why the peace of the heart? Hallelujah. In the third service, we finish on how to get this peace. So that you understand the peace of God, the peace that I'm talking about is what keeps vision. Most people have destroyed what God called them to do because of lack of peace. Saul lost his throne because of lack of peace. Do you know what he told Samuel? The people pressurized me to commit the sacrifice. That's what he said. But Samuel said, did I not tell you not to do it? And now he said, because Saul, you have done this thing. From today, your throne is gone. May you never lose your birthright in Jesus' name. And Saul lost his birthright. Oh, it's peace of the stomach. Ha! Huh. Oh, the stomach. I don't have a piece of the stomach. <laughs> he liked it. 
He said, it's okay. Give me food that eats. He forgot there's a time that his father was blessing them. Are we clear? And it came to pass because he ate his father's food because he lacked peace of control. Most of us will lose vision. We will lose our place in God because of lack of this peace. Peace, I don't have money. Peace, no. Money is no vision. Tell your neighbor, money is no vision. <laughs> there's no business you need to start with money. Ask me. You need to start with a healthy relationship without any business. Any healthy relationship will lead to business. I heard those people have been taught about the farmer's mentality. Huh? You, you, your society is very important. Your connections, your relationship are very vital. Not the money you have. And the people say, I'm not, I'm antisocial. Tell them about stop being antisocial. Tell them about stop being antisocial. Yeah? You can't live alone. You need peace. May that peace come to you in your heart in Jesus' name. That's why when the work came for Samburu, there's nothing that disturbed me. When that guy came here and said there's land, I never pursued him or called him all the time. Hey, do you have the land? No. He's the one who was calling me every week. I can't tell you I told my wife. This guy is calling me every week. Let me now respond. To be sure it was God who was sending us there. There was no hurry. Most of you have been told there's a job here. Even now, you will leave church for the right job. Now, tell you about don't be that kind of person. You one day you can go out into trouble because you're always in a hurry. Why are you going to? Let the peace of God control you that you may not miss your vision in Jesus' mighty name. Have you been blessed today? Be on your feet in Christ Jesus. Say, Jesus, engrace me with peace. Empower me with peace. Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Lord, I desire peace to keep my heart. You say the peace you give unto us is not that the world give it. That past peace of you in your heart, Lord. You have given unto us, O Lord. Open your mouth, pray that prayer. Jesus, I take on peace. I cannot hear you pray. I cannot hear you pray. Are you praying? I shall not be moved by impulses. I will not be moved quickly. I will not be moved in a hurry. Lord, I take peace. I take peace. I take peace. Rakaza to roba ya cities. I take peace. Lord, I take peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Every head bow, every eye close. The peace comes, comes when you accept Jesus. When you return to Jesus. When you stay with Jesus. If you're here, you're like me, you want to accept Jesus all the time. You want him to be in your heart. Put your right hand on your chest. Repeat on me, say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. I accept you. As my Lord, my personal Savior, I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Today, I am born again. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, for everyone, may that prayer keep them in the faith. Preserve them in the faith. In Jesus' name, I pray. Lord, guarantee everyone peace in this place. From today, let everyone walk in peace. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen.